Juarez's corner saying, box for heaven's sake. Copy box numbers in three. Juarez 10 out of 54, including the big left hook. Barrera 8 out of 59. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim. 29, 28, two rounds to one. Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, I thought he won the first two rounds with that left jab. Circling nicely, boxing nicely. Rocky Juarez has just got to jump on him, force him back, and land some good shots. In round three, Rocky Juarez did just that. He got aggressive, didn't let Barrera get off, jumped on him, hurt him, won the third round, 2-1 Barrera. Barrera has so, just turned yeah. the fight back around yeah, Barrera, with a series right. of vicious body shots. Just what I was going to say. Being the fighter that he is, he realizes now that he's maybe in jeopardy of losing or the momentum of the fight turning towards Rocky. So now he's stepping it up. The body shots were sizzling. They put Barrera back in charge momentarily. Major swelling around the left eye of Marco Antonio Barrera. The kind of swelling that could lead to trouble later on in the fight. And he's in there facing, to me, the most dangerous puncher that I've ever saw him face it's been a long time since he fought junior jones even bigger than pacquiao i, I think so because pacquiao you can see his punches goes pacquiao basic winds up and shoots a hard you know one two with a straight right and a hard left and you see it coming but this guy rocky is very deceiving he gets very close and changes very short punches there's tremendous energy in the crowd for both fighters we're hearing dueling chants Yep. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. Marco, Marco, Marco. You have a Mexican crowd and two Mexican fighters. Let's go. Break. Let's be there. Take a deep breath. Okay. Deep breath. Let's go. Well, one Mexican and one Mexican-American. Yeah. But most of these Mexican fighters have spent so much time in recent years training and living here. And Barrera up until now, for the most part, did all of his training, mainly in California. Well, and Barrera used to be Los Angeles' trademark fighter when he was promoted by uh, the Great Western Forum and fighting his fights there. That's where he fought Kennedy McKinney in the first box boxing after dark, Feb 3, 1996. Another sizzling right hand over the top by Barrera, who has taking it upon himself to try to reassume command of the fight here in round four. Now, Juarez has not done enough following up what happened at the end of the last round so far. Barrera gets away with a body shot that was below the belt, and referee Raul Calle Sr. says, hey, that one was too low, Marco. So one warning for Barrera. He's been flirting with that warning, and perhaps purposely so. They trade jabs, and they both land, crushingly. These guys are throwing more power punches for little guys than Rockman and Tony was throwwing probably in their entire fight. So what are you saying? <laughs> These guys are punching with the other guys was more like trying to go for a decision. The hitter was going for a the decision. These guys are going for a knockout. That uh -huh. was an excellent round for Marco Antonio Barrera, who showed you what a champion does when he's challenged. Jorge, right, give me, give me that thing. I need something to clean him up. But very strong. Nah, everything is fine. You're back to normal. The, the legs, that's what you need. Move. Just jab and move. Jab in the right hand. I want the leg shot. We've been working inside. You understand? It's a short right hand body shot. You will not take that body shot. If you keep taking body shot, he won't take it. He didn't take this shot up here either. Okay? You look like you're doing real good, son. You're doing real good. I want you to be. I keep all the time. Jab, jab. You do it? You're doing good. You're doing real good. Well, they told us that Rocky had trained to fight at a harder, faster pace. He's fighting in his style and doing well, but he has not yet turned it up. Copy box numbers in the fourth round, Barrera 12 out of 57, Juarez 6 out of 48. 6 out of 48, those are the numbers that won't do it for Juarez. The belief is that he must put more pressure on Barrera. However, he's landed big shots from time to time and certainly almost knocked Barrera down at the end of the third. Marco continuing to fight aggressively now to try to keep Juarez away. But what Barrera does good is when he puts combinations together, they just flow so smoothly and he has not been able to do that in this fight. He's not been able to put combinations. He lands one or two shots. So far, the most effective thing has been his jab. All right, stop. Break. It's hard to stand in and what? land a four-punch combination when you're worried about what's coming back. That's correct, especially with a guy with a good tight defense like Rocky has. Deep breath. 
Respira para trás, Luzão. Pressure, pressure, pressure. As Rocky Juarez stalks the champion Marco Antonio Barrera from corner to corner. Anomigas has a free. Left hook upstairs by Juarez, right behind Barrera's ear. All right, stop! Break! Deep breath. Respira los dos para atrás. Respira. Rocky Juarez is pretty quick with his left hook. Barrera trying to back him off with the right hand of the body. Left and right upstairs. Juarez lands the jab. Barrera goes straight in anyway. This, this is what Barrera does that you talk so much about before, Emmanuel. Yeah, he's, he's boxing, he's boxing, and suddenly he comes in, throws three or four punches, backs you up. Now back to boxing. Well, he sees the guys pushing him around while he's, while he's boxing and dominating, so he changed up and then he starts going with the forward. Barrera getting going with the left hand, lands a left hook, and then follows with three or four jabs right in a row. Moves before Juarez can find it. Rocky comes forward with one left hook. Barrera's best punch so far still in this fight has been the jab. That's a free, Mano Libres. Mano Libres, that's a free, gentlemen. Barrera has to watch out when they separate here that Juarez doesn't snap him with a left hook. And Barrera obviates that by firing his own punches and landing a right hand. Okay, right. Saturday, June 3, tune into the premiere of Countdown to Taylor Wright. An in-depth look at each fighter as they make their final preparations for their June 17 middleweight mega fight live over the air on HBO, not pay-per-view, World Championship Boxing, one of the biggest fights of the year, Taylor Wright, June 17. Who's not allowed to You know what you have to do? The right, use the right hand, hit him in the body, and the movement is what you need to do. You got to move. Close your eye. Close your eye. Come on, give me the mouthpiece. There you see Barrera doing what he does best. Keeping a distance and working his jab. Fairly astonishingly, the CompuBox numbers for the fifth round are exactly the same as for the fourth. Herrera 12 out of 57, Juarez 6 out of 48. Same numbers as the last time. So we're seeing the fight settle into a sameness here, which doesn't mean that it's easy, only that Barrera is managing to maintain a tactical control while staving off a stiff challenge so far. Juarez lands a jab. Definitely a stiff challenge and a dangerous challenge too. Juarez is still punching with four force whenever he gets punches. And he landed a big left hook, to which Barrera answered with a jab and a straight right hand. Barrera's uppercuts are scoring inside. Juarez could score with uppercuts himself, but hasn't thrown them. Barrera, I'm sorry, Rocky knows that he can hurt Barrera. He doesn't appear to be putting enough pressure on to get those big punches in. Oh, stop! Break! Take a deep breath. Come on, let's go. Box! Blood streaming from his left nostril. Barrera keeps firing the jab. Juarez winging a left hook, but falls short with it. The right hand of the body caught skin, but Barrera is tactically in command as he circles away from Juarez and chooses his punches to keep Rocky back. It is a tenuous command at best. Juarez explosive, and Barrera ducking the right hand there. Good uppercut inside by Barrera. Juarez lands two jabs as Marco backs away. Good uppercut by Juarez. Finally, he throws one. Now Barrera lands another uppercut shot, and Juarez counters with a left hook up there. Yeah, but Barrera has been boxing beautiful, and he's better get back to that zone again. Is he getting in close? He's getting in a dangerous territory with Rocky, because Rocky is still, I think, a more effective short-distance puncher than he is. Barrera going inside to take his chances on trying to take some of the steam out of Juarez. And now, 
We've got a prize fight breaking out in Los Angeles. Good short right hand over top. And he's following through right now. It's going to be interesting to see if Juarez can make it through this round. Barrera almost spat his mouthpiece, put it back in himself, and went back to punching. He's mixing up his combination to the body and to the head. Marco Antonio Barrera seemed to know yesterday it would be a tough fight. Now he seems finally to be beginning to enjoy it. Yes, it's one of the best fights I've saw him fight in a long time, too. Right, stop! Break! Nice and relaxed. Deep breath. Let's be able to just... Yes, a window. Ten seconds. It's the sheer activity of the older fighter. And Juarez backs Ferreira off with a big left hook and lands another big shot before the round is over. What a fight. Hey, Rock, I want you to work that right hand. Right hand right here. I want you to work that right hand. Okay, you hear what I said? I want you to work the right hand, but I need to throw some punches. Son. I need a combination in there. But you, you get, uh, hey, the ring is 20 by 20. You can walk all around this guy. Don't you understand? When you get hurt a little bit, get on your, your bicycle and move away from this guy. They didn't come at you, but you can hurt him. Give me this punch. Take it, take it away from me. Hit him in the body. Come on, you don't want to throw in the bottom? Don't, don't get into, into fight with him. Just nice and beautiful boxing. You, you punch it nice and sharp. We are midway through this 12-round championship fight in Los Angeles. The king of the 130-pound weight class, Marco Antonio Barrera in the blue trunks against the man in the Mexican flag and the American flag, Rocky Juarez of Houston, Texas. A good, tight battle with hard punching on both sides. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, five rounds to one. 59-55, Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, I gotta tell you something. The defining line, the defining spot for a low blow is, is the navel, okay? Now, since you can't see the navel on Rocky Juarez, if Marco Antonio Barrera plunks him with a left hook on a waistband, it's a legal punch. Raul Pais didn't say a thing about the four or five left hooks Barrera landed to the waistband to Juarez in round five. I think they were good shots. Five to one, Barrera. Juarez walks into a couple of jabs. Barrera eats a jab as well. Barrera seems to be getting his stride right now, and the experience is beginning to show right here now. He just knows at which moments to step up and seize command. Yeah, he's a great fighter. I mean, and it's still amazing to see him fight on this level of competition 10 years when he was fighting 10 years ago in brawls and still out here fighting like this. Juarez ripping Barrera with a hard left hook to the body. You would think the younger man would start to come on soon. Has he been holding back just, just to do that? No, I just think this is the level of competition is just so high that no one can really get a good momentum to go on steady. The, the momentum keeps changing. It's the kind of fight so far in which even if Juarez loses, his reputation won't be damaged. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe and punch for punch with one of the best in the history of the sport. Terrific left hook to the body by Barrera. Now Barrera's mouthpiece is out yeah. as he and Juarez go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And without a mouthpiece, Barrera rips Juarez with an uppercut. Stop! Stop! Time! And referee Raul Cai steps in to replace the mouthpiece at a moment when they're trading shots. And just he had to, well, they call it a lull in action. That was not too much of a lull in action. I'll say. 